How nice it was to wake up this morning with all that sunshine around us in Wanaka. Look at that. Okay. Oh, well, that is Brian. What are you up to? What are you doing? <laughs> Brian is feeding the ducks. Oh, what was that? Throw some bread in, Brian. This is quite amazing, eh? These fish are not, not at all tame. They come up from the lake, and there's some real big ones in there. They are not trapped. They can come and go as they like. We have just left Wanaka to go and do some sightseeing. We're going into the Bendigo station to look at some gold fields. How are you today? I'm Philippa, how are you? <laughs> you look well? Huh? Enjoying yourself? <laughs> so we're at the entrance to the Bendigo station. How big is it, Brian? I don't know. Down there, at the end of the valley, is Wanaka. And Brian and Philippa have taken us in their four-wheel drive up here, in the middle of the Bendigo station. There used to be two settlements up here some hundred years ago. Uh, one was Welsh Town and the other one was Logan Town. Last we were here, they were restoring that house. Did they? But they seem not to have done these. Mm. That would make a nice little home for you, would it? The mining for gold went on for about 50 years from the 1860s right into 1910 or so. And, all of, and it took, led you around all of these sites and they're all numbered. Oh yeah? So you could follow the whole thing. What are you looking at, Ursula? What a harsh life that must have been. There is a large labyrinth of shafts down there. Um, they go right down to a depth of about 200 meters. Right in places. Hold the camera there. I don't think that would have been a substantial family home here. At least two rooms. Yep, and down there are the foundations of the Matilda battery. All the noise and dirt and dust, all but gone. You have like a picnic? Oh, yes. Oh, on here. Huh? What? Well, that was nice. 